high, beautiful souls. You teach people how to see you, how to feel you by the way that you are. You teach people by being you. And if you want people to treat you with more love and more kindness, you must be more loving and kind to yourself. And you must use your voice and show them how to treat you. But from a neutral point of view, a neutral stance, when people get all charged and angry, then nobody listens, everybody shuts down. And the only way to get through to somebody is to say it with a neutral standpoint express how you feel and if somebody's not ready for that then you just walk on you don't have to hang around anybody that makes you feel less than but usually when a person is feeling less than it's because there's a feeling within them that still needs their love so that they can release whatever it is that they're holding on to that makes them feel lacking in confidence and so that they can truly feel the love that they are. Last weekend I was talking to some dear friends and we were talking about school get-togethers, catching up with old friends and these two friends of mine um, both were set talking about when they catch up with old school friends and how when they get together with old school friends they kind of wish that it would end um, <laughs> because after a you know a few moments and they caught up they just just want to leave because they start to see all the roles that everybody used to play back in those days and how things haven't changed and how it doesn't make them feel great so we had this lovely conversation about this, different perspectives, different ways of seeing it, different uh, understandings. And when you're a child and you go to school, the people that you go to school with, you will push together and because you're vulnerable and you're young, you adapt a role, you adapt a character which uh, puts you in a place amongst your peers and everybody plays out that role in a play, in a grand play and when somebody tries to break away from that role then other people may not feel so comfortable about that because that's the role, that's what they have, um, that's how they see you and that's it's, it, it makes it's difficult for them sometimes to see you as something different but you see these are all very unconscious ways of seeing people when you see people in the past you're not being aware and conscious to the person that they're showing up as now this is why sometimes it's so difficult the family dynamics because families often only see a family member as that person as they knew when they were growing up and so they project and they remind and they go back in the past and remind that person of the things that they did when they were younger maybe that they're not very pleased with or whatever else and that can make the other person feel not so good so the point I'm trying to get at is whoever these people are that you come into contact with if you want if you want people to treat you with more love and respect you must first of all love and respect yourself when you truly love and respect yourself it doesn't really matter what anybody says because you know that you are love and you know that you are all that you are but you don't have to hang out with anybody that doesn't see the greatness that you are. 
but at the same time your frequency will not allow that to match up so if you lift your frequency to that of love and you treat yourself with love so you treat others with love then you're only going to experience loving communications you're going to experience communications where there is love and that people are aware and even if they are old school friends they will see the person that you are now and they won't be pulling you back into a role that you once were because remember everybody else is probably thinking exactly the same but in different ways you treat people how or you you teach people how you want to be treated so it begins with how you treat yourself if you want more loving kind friends you must be more loving and kind to yourself by being it that's what you will attract by being loving kindness you will receive loving kindness by being abundant you will receive abundance it's a very simple way to be and as for these old school reunions nobody has to go nobody has to do anything and you must ask yourself what is your motivation before you go to these things everybody has things that uplift them things that bring them joy things that they are passionate about things that light them up when they speak about them and you can always bring the conversation to ways of being things that you're up to that support those joyful conversations as opposed to talking about old conversations that serve no one you may inspire someone even in the process but yes you do get to choose you don't have to go to these old meetups you don't have to check in with old school friends you don't have to do any of that but whatever you do do you do it with love and you do it with kindness and that is what will meet you wherever you go with love and kindness because that is who you are thank you for watching my name is Zaza, coming from the hedgerows, the glorious green vortex, next to my beloved walnut tree friend. I wish you a beautiful day, much joy and love on your path. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, comment, like it, if you feel called to do so. Many blessings. Thank you. I feel the blue lighting coming in. All love, all joy, all peace.